Once the eyeball was penetrated with the ink, it felt like he grabbed 10 shards of glass and rubbed it in my eye. If your eyeball procedure is done correctly, um, you're not supposed to go blind at all. I was blind for three weeks. That was pretty brutal. Oh, well, hey, darling. Come I've come over. Oh, thanks, darling. I've come over to have a look at some photos. I mean, the one tattoo. Yeah, I know. Script. 18 years old. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> no more. Yeah. And then what happened? If I was to put a number on how many tattoos that I have, I'd probably have to say about 200 tattoos. I've sat through one major cosmetic procedure which was a breast augmentation, and then four minor cosmetic surgeries. My eyebrows tattooing, my lip tattooing, my cheek fillers and my lip fillers. I think you've become more confident. I've noticed that over the years. Yeah, it was just, I finally found who I was. It doesn't change who you are, though. When I work in the city. Mm. So what does your mum think about? All of this? Yes. What does my mum think about all of this? From the start, she didn't like it. She grew more to the idea of when I turned 18 that I could get tattooed, but until then I'm living under her roof and that wasn't respectful. You know, there have been things like facial tattoos and, um, you know, my eyeball tattoos and things that um, were a bit more controversial. Look, white eyes. That's, that's know, just weird. it's beautiful. No, it's weird. What do I think about my daughter's blue tattooed eyes? Where do I start? I cried. I, I said a few choice words, as anyone would do. What the hell are you thinking of? Why would you do that to yourself? I can't even begin to describe to you what the feeling was like. The best thing I can give you is um, once the eyeball was penetrated with the ink, it felt like he grabbed 10 shards of glass and rubbed it in my eye. Um, that happened four times per eye. That was pretty brutal. Unfortunately, my artist went too deep into my eyeball. If your eyeball procedure is done correctly, um, you're not supposed to go blind at all. I was blind for three weeks. Yes. Why would you do that to yourself, knowing that there is a, uh, I suppose, a danger to it? As we know, as a parent, some kids will just do what they want to do, regardless of what we say. But I brought her into the world with the best skills that I could give the best that I could give her. It's just for me to be there and go along the journey with her and prop her up and love her. So how do you think you're going to feel when you get older? Oh, I'm going to be When you have children, them. how are you going to be when you sit here? You know what? And you're the mum. I'm going to be an open colouring book. Mm. All my pieces of grey wash, so mm. they can spend their hours in colour me in. <laughs> It's a nice way to look at it. Yep. <laughs> at 15 years old, I got diagnosed with severe clinical depression. She never saw herself as being beautiful. She didn't see herself through my eyes. A lot of people go through things in life, but for me, it's about coming out the other side and being able to be your true self. At 16 years old, I got my first tattoo. The feeling that I felt with that tattoo was almost like a negative energy release. Um, I've supported her because I could actually see the transition, the growth, and how it's made her come to who she is today. I think over time I've learned to actually understand that it, it doesn't change you, it's the society's perception on it. And exactly. I think that's, we are brought up to believe that you, you can't be doing this to yourself, but I think I mean, with the way You can't be doing changed, this to yourself and get a good job. No. <laughs> you can. I can't expect you to live your life through me mm. or how I want to live my life because it'll never make you who you are. Thanks. I appreciate so that. Don't get me emotional. Man, it's all good. Mm. Mm. I believe that though, really. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. It's all right. Appreciate it. I know. I love you. Love you too. I am going to say right now that. I chose to look this way and everyone has their own opinions, you know, everyone knows what beauty is in their own eyes. You know, they, you see cultures stretching their ears and stretching their necks, their lips. It's all, all different ideas of what beauty is. And that's okay, that's fine, because we're only human. But I would 
like to see in the future a bit more open-mindedness like when it comes to body modification and tattooing it's tattooing is becoming more accepted in the community and within the workplace but body modification has a long way to go do i always understand what she's doing no um but the question is am i proud of her yeah i am proud of her i don't plan on getting any more body modifications that are extreme in that matter so no more tongue splitting no more eyeball tattooing um, but i will be getting a procedure called a brazilian butt lift in terms of tattooing i'll just be getting completely tattooed like covered um, my goal is to be completely covered by the time i'm 25 um, i'm 25 next march so i'm on track i'm doing pretty well so far